Eureka! I have done it! I have successfully changed the Palamuti into an accordion! Behold, my scientific genius! Hello, my fellow sunbreakers in waiting, though I have no idea what accent that even was, but I love the idea of our resident Elgato scientist deciding that Palamutes need to be just a little bit more musical. What's actually going on here is a nice little introduction to Bahari, the quirky scientist who is just sheerly brilliant and indeed is in charge of research at Elgato. And I, for one, am excited to see what he brings to the table because it might be a source of new tech, a la Clutch Claw, but hopefully not with its problems, and something that we can actually implement into a hunting style that he has invented as a nice reason for it to exist, and that's always exciting. But I am getting ahead of myself, yes indeed. Welcome, welcome, welcome today then, as we go through our latest teases and bits of tid on Sunbreak. Tidbit sounds so much weirder if you reverse it to bit of tid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so so let's let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, meet uh, good old Master Arlo, a Gunlands expert who is the arena quest handler in Elgado. I am loving all of the metallic armor, and indeed, if we can get even anything similar to his armor set, I will be very pleased. I get the distinct impression this is probably going to be my favorite Monster Hunter game in terms of vibe of the equipment aesthetic, because it really is something that I love. In any case, he is very much researching into the Gunlands as he is obsessed with it, and he wants to see if Hailcutter can get even better. Which, to be fair, might be teasing or implying a change tweaker buff to it in, uh, well, Sunbreak, which I imagine will come as very welcome news. So yes, another one of our royal knights, and very well met. Moving on past that then, we have the single most important feature in Sunbreak that is so critical to the success of the game, I will simply let you witness it in real time with no interruptions from me. with the Palamu and it's adorable. I mean, the Palico is there, but to anyone who has cats, you know full well a cat gives exactly zero care to any attempt to play anything that isn't on its own terms. I just look at you like, what's wrong with you, human? Why have you done this? Go get it yourself, bitch. Not that, not that I don't love my, my two cat children, of course. They're they're adorable. In any case, yes, we uh, can uh, fetch it up uh, with uh, our Palico Palamute, and I just love stuff like this, right? It's charming, it adds atmosphere, it's a nice little detail, it just helps you feel more immersed and connected, and it's something I always hope Monster Hunter does, because little touches like this is something they always have done, and it's a big part of the reason Monster Hunter does just feel so special. Another one of those reasons is how adorable the supporting cast of small monsters are. We get some more gown goats, some close-up gown goats, some happy grass munching gown goat, and god I love them so much! Oh, I cannot wait to immediately draw slash kill one on the first Pro Noob episode with a big old new greatsword. <laughs> God, it's gonna be so mad. And we get a little bit of boggy action of them prowling along the cliffs, having themselves a good old time in their packs, hopping about the place. And I still really want a King Boggy, a great Boggy. Oh, it would just be perfect. Though there is every chance it's not Goblin Raptors, but Boogeyman. Boggy, and that's the kind of myth that they're based on, so I'll be interested to see which one it actually turns out to properly be. Then we get ourselves probably the most definite, interesting little fact of the day, and that's of course the confirmation that relics will still be in Sunbreak on the Citadel on the new map, revealing the story of, well, what's going on. Nice! And it is nice! 
Chiefly because it's lovely to get these little lawn nuggets, try and piece out what they mean, and have all sorts of fun little talks from them. And also, we do get a little teaser look reveal here of actually a brand new armor set because it's Master Rank Basil armor. Obviously, in Iceborne, there wasn't a Master Rank Basil, it was just seething, and the armor was modeled around seething. Whereas now, we're gonna have a Master Rank normal Basil and thus need a slightly changed armor set for him, and it's looking very good, along with said Switch Axe. Um, I'm really liking the kind of shoulder plate as well, and yeah, that's really, really awesome. This is a proper, true, genuine new armor set, and I am a big fan. But also, the area here is very interesting. It's like a kind of half underground cave river system, which clearly, I think from the looks, is part of the frosty Lunagaron area of uh, the Citadel. But I mean, this is a full-on river bordering zones of the map. If there was ever a kind of environment to maybe shoo in something that, you know, we would like to see watery base, legeocracy perhaps, that would be the one, wouldn't it? I just think this gives us a really nice environment for a certain set of monsters that perhaps we maybe thought wouldn't be on the menu. Caves, water, and frost is an excellent combo, and I would also totally take a little bit of Giginox returning to have a scrap with Kezu, that would be great too. But I would love the idea of using Leviathans and having them use this as a kind of, you know, road to get between zones, even if we don't end up actually fighting them in the, mo in the monster. Yes, in the monster! In the water! In any case, you know what I mean. This is definitely an interesting set of geography, and I, for one, am very curious as to what monster will be tied to it, because I get the feeling it suddenly will be one. This is definitely not Lunagaron territory, even if the whole area in general is his domain as one of the free lords. Now, obviously, Shogun Xenotar could definitely have a little wander around here, but obviously he's much more lavery than snowy, so we'll have to find out. Perhaps a new crab? I mean, I would love a, like, a yeti crab in the ice water, a full-on Rachnikadaki level quality monster, but for the crabs? Please, God. God, Yeti crabs are both really, really disturbingly weird and also really, really cool. And I definitely, I mean, imagine the long arms reaching for you in monster form with all their fluffiness, getting snow caked in them and... Ah, oh, look, the idea of water ice can- Come on, super crab, please, needs to happen. Why do they even exist? Who knows? Probably David Attenborough. In any case, let's uh, finally move on to a interesting little bit of info that isn't actually any real info, but is still probably the most interesting bit of info today. I'll stop beating around the eddy crab bush. You know they're supposed to be blind as well? Which would be kind of interesting to play with. Imagine having to be silent around the Yeti Club, slowly feeling about the place for you, kind of Kezu style. And anyway, I digress. What I have got for you then is the fact that we have confirmation of when we're getting the next full on news trailer reveals for Sunbreak that isn't these interesting little teasers. And of course, the answer is May. That's it, that's as specific as it gets. May. So I guess, you know, don't be too hopeful for the rest of April, and then as soon as it hits the first, I get- get excited! Ah, not much to go on, of course, but it's nice to know that, of course, we are getting something definite in the pipeline. That's about all I got for you, then. Let me know what has most excited you. But until we meet again, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, hit the bell, don't miss future Monster Hunter goodness, consider supporting this channel on Patreon down below. It means the absolute world. It really, really does, and it keeps us going. A good one. Uh, Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye